My husband gambled all our money away and sold me to a rich man for half a million dollars. I'll pay half of a million dollars for a night with your wife. Deal? How dare you suggest that? <laughs> My wife will do anything to please you. Martin and I loved each other since high school. He always loved to have fun and hated to work. But things only got worse after the wedding. He lost his job and soon we had no money to pay the mortgage. Then Martin got a crazy idea. And that same evening we went to Las Vegas with all our savings. All in. Martin, that's too risky. I know what I'm doing. Bets are in. No! Unfortunately, you lost. Martin lost everything we had. I had a great hand. How could I lose? We thought it was a disaster, and we were about to leave when suddenly a man called me. Wait, it's all thanks to you. What do you mean? You bring good luck. As soon as you get closer, I won. <laughs> Apparently my wife brings good luck to everyone except me. I want to borrow your wife. Have her by my side. I'll give you $10,000. No problem. The man introduced himself as Chris. I was flattered by his attention as he was very elegant and seemed to be attracted to me. All in. Well, as are in. Chris didn't seem worried at all, and it was clear that he was used to wasting money. Incredible! You won half a million dollars! Everyone around us was amazed, especially my husband. <laughs> Seems like your investment paid off. Would you like to borrow my wife again? Well, this time I want something different. I want to spend the night with your wife. I'll pay you half a million dollars. Are you insane? Martin, say something! Well, when you think about it... Standing there, I couldn't believe my ears. They were talking about me like I was an object. If I were Martin, I would have hit that man immediately. However, my husband had other plans. Gal, wait. Just spend just one night with him. Isn't that hard for you? We'll be able to buy our house back. Don't be selfish. And before I could say anything to Martin, he was already dragging me towards the man. Here's the money. Do we have a deal? Uh, of course. <laughs> Catherine, is it your disposal? Everything was kind of a blur. And I didn't realize what was happening. The man took me to a hotel room and shut the door behind him. I was preparing for the worst when... I want you to understand that your husband sold you just now. Deep down, I knew he was right. But I still loved Martin too much to admit it. You don't know anything about us. We need this money to get our house back. Do you? Then go to your husband. See what he's up to. But... Go, Catherine. I don't buy women. I conquer them. I felt like I had been showered with mud. I wanted to find Martin and forget about everything as if it was a bad dream. But I should have stayed with that rich rascal. Martin, who is that? 
<laughs> this is Chloe. You're not the only one who can have fun, you know. But it was you who sold me against my will! Don't play innocent. We'll come back here tomorrow and find another millionaire who wants to have fun with you. Go to hell! I hate you! I couldn't believe that man was my husband. Martin did not even get upset when I left. I'm no worse than that priest. All on zero. Beds are in. Twenty-one black. You lost. No! Wait, Chloe, where are you going? Goodbye, I don't hang out with beggars. I was forced to start a new life. However, after leaving the casino, the rich man came after me. Catherine, I want to get to know you better. I wanted to buy the love of a poor beauty. But she didn't allow herself to be purchased. Is that enough to continue our acquaintance? You are pathetic! There are things that you can't buy with these pieces of paper. Catherine's words caught my attention. I knew that everything had a price. So I decided to prove that she wasn't an exception. In order to seduce Catherine, I had to learn more about her. I could only do this by watching her. The band is taking your house. That night, Catherine stayed in a homeless shelter. And I almost rejoiced, because she was in a critical situation. My friend, what room are that lady staying in? People can choose their own rooms. Catherine is a volunteer here. She helps homeless children. I had never dealt with such saints before. It only stirred up my excitement. This is for you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Gabriella, your birthday was yesterday, wasn't it? Yep. You can have it. I was humiliated yet again, but wasn't going to give up. I bought an expensive diamond necklace for her, and left it in her room. Gabriella, this necklace really suits you. Catherine, you are the best! I love you! Next, I decided to rent an expensive restaurant on the rooftop of a skyscraper just for the two of us. I handed Catherine a note with an invitation. And everything was going well. Until they arrived. Devin! Her audacity drove me completely crazy. What is wrong with you? I've tried everything to conquer you. You don't know women at all. All this time you've been trying to buy me, not conquer me. Well, then I have another idea. 
I offered Catherine to manage my money for a whole month. Spend it however you want, and I'll take your place at the orphanage. I'll finally prove to you that I'm not a materialistic jerk. Deal. Catherine quickly got used to her new life. I'd like to transfer two million dollars to a shelter for homeless animals. My banker Brandon was furious. Are you insane? That's what my new Rolls Royce cost me! Hmm. Also, I'm transferring another million to an orphanage. <laughs> That's my annual golf club membership! I'm also giving away 20 million to help starving children in Africa. What the hell? That's what I paid for my mansion! Hey, Chris, your goal is spending our money on beggars. What? Where should I go? Catherine was staying well in her new position. Unlike me. I had been sleeping two hours a night for several days because I was looking after the children at the orphanage. What am I doing here? Dealing with these ragamuffins when I could be drinking wine with some beauty on a yacht. My thoughts were interrupted by a security guard. Sir, we can't find Gabriella anywhere. After hours of searching for her, I finally found the Nottingham. Gabrielle, what the hell are you doing here? I secretly come here every year in memory of my friend. We were sailing towards the mainland when the ship started sinking. My poor dog Forty started barking and woke me up. I managed to jump out, but he drowned. At that moment, I finally understood Catherine's words. You can't buy true love. You can only earn it through your actions. The next morning, I went to the office to talk to Catherine. But Brandon was already waiting for me there. Chris, how are you, buddy? I have great news. I was angry with you and that crazy Catherine, but our partners liked our new philanthropist image, and we've doubled our earnings this month. Great. Then sent all profits to the shelter. What? Are you out of your mind? What about our parties? I don't need any of that. I only need her. That's insane! You wanted to go on a date with me, right? How about we start with some coffee? Money can buy anything except love.